Good evening, and welcome to the Bristol Community College Student Awards Ceremony. My name is Nancy Santo Padre, Assistant Professor and Department Chair of the Criminal Justice Program, and a member of the College Awards Committee. This evening, we are here to recognize students who have demonstrated ex exceptional academic growth and development, as well as those who have made significant contributions in service and leadership to Bristol Community College. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the college trustees here with us this evening, Joan M. Medeiros and student trustee Sarah Trinidad Hincapie. I would also like to ask members of the President's Leadership Team and Vice President's Council to please stand up to be recognized. Let me introduce my distinguished colleagues and presenters for this evening's event. On the stage, we have Dr. Ed Cabellan, Vice President of Student Services and Enrollment Management. <laughs> Ms. Joan Medeiros, Chair of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Ms. Carol Michael, Chair of Alumni Association. Ms. Susan McCourt, Associate Professor of Mathematics and Director of the Commonwealth Honors Program. Ms. Paula Popio, Executive Director of Development. Dr. Suzanne Buglioni, Interim Vice President of Academic Affairs. Ms. Emma Montague, Director of Student and Family Engagement. Dr. Sarah Keilberg, Interim Dean of Arts and Humanities. Dr. Kathleen Pearl, Dean of Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education. Mr. William Barati, Dean of Business and Information Management. <laughs> Ms. Lynn Brodeur, Dean of Health Sciences. <laughs> Dr. Katie L. Ruggieri, Professor of Biology <laughs> and Chair of Natural Sciences. Yay! My my home girl. <laughs> Ms. Jennifer uh, Boulay, uh, Acting Dean of the Lash Division for Teaching and Learning. <laughs> At this time, I would like to acknowledge and thank my fellow members of the Bristol Community College Awards Committee for their tremendous work and support throughout the year and their assistance in making this event possible. Jenna DiPortoli, she's the chair of the committee. Priscilla Grosser, Diane Manson, Nancy Moxon, Rhonda Magnuski, Derek Viveris, Patricia Weisberger, and Cindy Schoen. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dr. Laura Douglas, President of Bristol Community College, is unable to be with us this evening. In her absence, I am pleased to introduce Dr. Ed Cabellan, Vice President for Student Services and Enrollment Management. Good evening. Good evening. I think we can do a little bit better. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> welcome again, everyone, to Bristol Community College. It is truly an honor to welcome all of you here tonight. President Douglas asked me to extend her apologies for being unable to be with us, and she sends her congratulations to each of you, all of our student award recipients this evening. Your dedication is something to be commended, and I am so happy that we are here this evening to celebrate you, your families, and your accomplishments. There are numerous faculty, administrators, and staff in the audience this evening as well 
And I'd like to thank all, all the, th the work that you do to support our students and your dedication to their success here at Bristol Community College. To the students, may you continue your quest for knowledge, and I hope that you'll always remember that Bristol is where you got the best education possible. I also hope that the institution has been a stepping stone for many of you towards fulfilling your lifelong aspirations and that has instilled a love of learning that, you, that will be in you forever from here until your next step. Thank you so much for being here and we look forward to celebrating all of you this evening. Thank you. It's my pleasure now to introduce Joan M. Medeiros, Chair of the Board of Trustees, to say a few words. Thank you, Ed. Good evening, everyone. As a member of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, it is my honor to offer the college's very best wishes and congratulations to all of you this evening. Your hard work and perseverance have earned you a great accolades. You have made your family members proud, and we congratulate them as well for their part in, your help in, for their part in helping you achieve this great milestone. Best wishes to all of you as you get ready for the next step in your life. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Medeiros. And now I'd like to bring up Ms. Carol Michael, Bristol Class of 1970, and Chair of the Alumni Association to introduce this year's Paragon Award winner. The Paragon Award is the most distinguished award for a Bristol Community College alumnus. Paul C. Burke, Class of 1975, is a community leader, who has demonstrated a loyal interest in the college over the years. He says Bristol is where he learned how to learn. Additionally, Paul volunteers many hours to improve our region from serving as a volunteer firefighter and EMT in Swansea to serving as chair of the Argosy Collegiate Public Charter School Board. It is my pleasure to introduce him tonight, Paul Burke, Thank you, good evening everyone. It's an honor to be here. Congratulations to the award winners. Uh, it's kind of a bit of a surprise for me to be here tonight having received the Paragon Award. When I graduated from high school, I was woefully unprepared for college and for life uh, on my own. I grew up in Swansea in the late 60s and the taxpayers did not support education and did not build a desperately needed high school. So from the eighth grade to graduation, we were on double sessions. Grades 10 through 12 started at 6, 10 a.m., believe it or not, and got out at noon. Uh, there were no extracurricular activities to speak of, and my grades were not very good going into the eighth grade, as I was in the not-so-smart class, I think that's what they called it. Uh, on the first day of school, I was walking into my English class, and the teacher said, Mr. Burke, you're going to sit right in the front of my desk. She got me before I could even get to the back of the class. It was a preemptive strike. I also had a math teacher that helped me take college prep courses both, all, both years I was there. When I met my guidance counselor, he said I should consider a trade because I was not smart enough to go to get into any colleges. I applied to four colleges anyway, and I got accepted at two. The Stockbridge School in Amherst would cost 20,000 a year plus, and my father, a World War II Navy fighter pilot in the Pacific, had had a stroke a few years earlier, so I was on my own when it came to paying for school. The college, the other college was Bristol, my last best choice. I could work full time and go to college. It was the support I received from the faculty and guidance counselors here, and also friends that I made in classes that helped me. I learned how to learn at Bristol. I had to work hard, and I always sat in the front first row. That lesson I learned from my eighth grade English teacher. I went to graduation. I went on to graduate in two years from Bristol and received my bachelor's of finance two years later. And the next thing I knew, I received my Medicare card in the mail. 
Where did the time go? You graduate from college and you just put your head down and go to work. It's what you do during that time that will tell your story and how you've impacted others. Those 40 plus years have gone by in a flash. I have always tried to give back to the community that was given so much to me. I volunteered as a Swansea volunteer firefighter and I'm still volunteering on the Swansea Ambulance Corps as an EMT. And if there's any EMT students out here that got your certificates, Swansea Ambulance is looking for volunteers. So come on, maybe you can work with me on Friday nights. All right? I've been, so, I've been on so many boards, I've lost track. It seemed like I always got more back than what I gave. One is Argosy Charter School, where I am a founding member and chair of the Board of Trustees. Starting with, eight, starting with grade six, we are a college prep school for all our scholars, and we have a dual enrollment program here at Bristol. I hope all of you will consider, after graduating, staying here or coming back and giving back to the community. Volunteer, don't always look for financial reward because you will receive so much more in return and make our community so much better to live and work in. Remember what I mentioned, my eighth grade English teacher? I've been able to thank her for helping me because we are both members of the Argosy Board of Trustees together. She is still helping to educate young people. It is people like her and so many others that have helped me and inspired me to do more. I don't know where I would have been uh, today if it was not for the opportunity to attend Bristol. It changed my life, and please take the opportunity that Bristol has given you and give back to the community. Thank you all, and congratulations. Thank you, Paul and Carol. Susan McCourt, Associate Professor of Mathematics and Director of the Commonwealth Honors Program, will now present the Commonwealth Honors Program Awards. Ms. Luz Perez will assist Ms. McCourt with the Honors Cords. The Bristol Community College Commonwealth Honors Program offers over 250 outstanding students the opportunity to participate in honors classes, interdisciplinary honors seminars, and honors component projects. These students elect to enroll in classes that require them to go well above and beyond the college level rigor and be challenged by even more. More reading and writing, more synthesis and analysis, more preparation and discussion, and significant research projects and presentations. These students share the same challenges as many at Bristol Community College, balancing their studies with jobs, caring for family members, and actively participating in their communities. I am humbled by all that they accomplish. On Student Awards Night, the Commonwealth Honors Program recognizes the students in the program who have chosen to participate in even more scholarly endeavors. These students have completed at least three honors experiences, and they have worked with a faculty member to successfully produce a significant interdisciplinary research project and present their findings in written and oral presentations all done while maintaining a GPA of at least 3.45. Tonight, we award these students with honors cords and recognize them as Commonwealth Honors Scholars. The Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars are Keith J. Dion. Jacob Paul Munafo. <laughs> Samantha Amber Rupkus Mello. <laughs> Nicole Ann Tardinico. Abriana V. Tirado. <laughs> Veronica.
Veronica Ventura Vasconcelos. Ashley Joan Youngblood. The recipient of this year's John J. Spraga PhD Honors Book Award is Veronica Ventura Vasconcelos. Congratulations to all the award recipients. Paula Popio, Executive Director of Development, will present the Bristol Community College Foundation Scholarships. Good evening, everyone. The Bristol Community College Foundation is pleased to present the All USA Academic Team Scholarship. It's co-sponsored by the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society and the American Association of Community Colleges. The nominees are chosen for their outstanding academic achievement as well as significant college and community service. This year's recipient is William Henry Platt. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award, Animation and Motion Graphics, is awarded to Rebecca A. Smith. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Fine Arts is awarded to Bianca C. Laszlo. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Foundation Stu Studios is awarded to Brian J. Power and Paige A. Smiley. <laughs> the Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Graphic Design is awarded to Lisa L. Mata. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Web Design and Media Arts is presented to Styles Paul Vasquez. <laughs> the Bristol Community College Foundation's Quest Scholarship is awarded to April L. Jennison. The Helen Marie Booth Theater Award is awarded to Taylor K. Corbett. The recipient of the Kenneth M. Kendius Memorial Scholarship is Terrell Harrison. The CIS Computer Game Development Award is presented to Kyle Paul Costa and Danielle DaCosta. Daniel DaCosta, sorry. The CIS Information Transfer Award is presented to Dalton John Pereira. The CIS Computer Programming Award is presented to David F. Bourgeois and Marcelo de Oliveira Ruas. <laughs> the 
The recipient of the CIS Computer Science Transfer Award is Jada Cabral. The CIS Web Development Award is presented to Lindsay A. Turner. The recipient of the CRC Book Award for Excellence in Chemistry 090 is Tanya K. Quiterio. The recipient of the CRC Book Award for Excellence in Chemistry 113 is Dung T. Vo. The recipient of the CRC Book Award for Excellence in Chemistry 114 is Logan C. Cabral. The Captain James D. Crossan Scholarship is awarded to Jack Maloney. The Charles E. Croshaw Jr. Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Jenny P. Mantia. The recipients of the Jeanette Denning Writing Awards are first place, Matthew R. McCoy. Second place, Kyle Duarte. And third place, Serena S. Figueroa. The recipient of the Joanna DuPont Occupational Therapy Assistance Scholarship is Sarah M. Kamara. The recipient of the Dr. Cynthia K. Carr Scholarship is Narla Honoré. The recipient of the Raymond J. Lavertu Senior Scholarship is Victoria Elizabeth Williams. The recipient of the Ron Lister Professor Emeritus Design Award is Sonia A. Priest. <laughs> the recipient of the Ron Lister Professor Emeritus Fine Art Award is Laura Lee Franco. The recipient of the Katya Lund International Student Award is Maria Elena Boutros. The Basil and Teresa Maravellas Memorial Scholarship recipient is Sulira Rivera. The Charles Markovich Memorial Scholarship recipient is Heidi L. Cipriano. The Barry McKee Scholarship is awarded to Kaylee Ann Taylor. The recipient of the Outstanding Astronomy Student in AST 111, Astronomy 111, is Chad J. Costa. 
The Jessica M. Raposa Class of 2005 Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Jaden Minor. The Jesse E. Richardson Art Award is given to an art program student who has excelled in painting, and the recipient is Vanya M. Viveros. <laughs> the recipient of the Jennifer E. Serpa Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Lena Keck. The John Stobart Art Awards are being awarded to first place, Amanda Arruda. Second place, Laura Lee Franco. And third place, Braulio S. Ortega. The Edward Terrell Smith Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Veronica Ventura Vasconcellos. <laughs> the Professor Marion Wilner Art Book Award is presented to an outstanding art transfer student who has demonstrated creativity and excellence in drawing and design. This year's recipient is Angelina De Jesus Solomon. Congratulations to all of our scholarship recipients. And now I would like to introduce Dr. Sarah Kleiber, who is our Interim Dean of Arts and Humanities, who will present the Curriculum Awards for Division I. The Curriculum Award is given to graduating students who are recognized for the characteristics of reliability, perseverance, and high academic quality. This award expresses the college's confidence in the recipient as they enter the world of business, community service, or higher education. The Curriculum Award is presented in two different categories, one for high academic achievement and one for perseverance and growth. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for the Division of Humanities, excuse me, Arts and Humanities are Art Transfer, Fine Arts, Albina Matthews. <laughs> Deaf Studies Interpreter, Andrea Kinsman. Liberal Arts, Behavioral and Social Sciences, Mia Hazard. <laughs> Liberal Arts, Humanities, Lindsay Mello. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for the Division of Arts and Humanities are Art, CTACH, Brendan E. Lempinski. <laughs> Art Transfer, Graphic Design, Greg Goudreau. Deaf Studies Interpreter, Michelle Ann Agnew. Congratulations to all the recipients.
Dr. Kathleen Pearl, Dean of Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education, will present the curriculum awards for Division II. The recipient of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for the Division of Behavioral and Social Sciences is Criminal Justice, Criminal Justice Transfer, Aoife Brooke Fogarty. <laughs> Stephanie L. Gagney. David W. Kinahan and Victoria Elizabeth Williams. The recipient of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for the Division of Behavioral and Social Sciences is Human Services, Brooke L. Duby. <laughs> Congratulations to all the recipients. I'd like to present Mr. William Bernardi, Dean of Business and Information Management. He will present the Curriculum Awards for Division Three. Good evening, everybody. The recipients for the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement in the Division of Business and Information Management, Business Administration Career General Management, Rodolfo Filazola. <laughs> Business Administration Transfer, Tiffany Ann Carey. <laughs> computer Information Systems, Computer Information Webmaster, Lindsay A. Turner. Computer Information System Computer Programming, David F. Bourgeois. Marcelo de Oliveira Ruas. Computer Information Systems Game Development Game Creation, Daniel Da Costa. Computer Information Systems Game Development Game Programming, Kyle Paul Costa. The recipients for the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for the Division of Business and Information Management, Business Administration Transfer, Christopher C. Vigent. Culinary Arts, Baking and Pastry Arts, Brianna Lynn Da Silva. <laughs> Isaac R. Morris. Culinary Arts, Aaron T. LaFleur. <laughs> J. 
General Studies Mass Transfer, Andrew Riley Carey. Office Administration Executive Administrative Assistant, Susan Velozo. Congratulations to all of the recipients. Lynn Brodeur, Dean of Health Sciences, will present the Curriculum Awards for Division Four. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for the Division of Health Sciences are, for Clinical Laboratory Science, Clarice Dias Amarin. Amanda Marie DaCosta. The Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement in Nursing is Caitlin J. Yankee. The recipient of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for the Division of Health Sciences for Clinical Laboratory Science is Amina Sharifi. <laughs> Congratulations to the recipients. Our next presenter is Dr. Katie Ruggieri, Professor of Biology and Chair of Natural Sciences. She will present the Curriculum Awards for Division Five, the Division of Science and Engineering. Good evening. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for the Division of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering are for Engineering Technology, Mechanical Technology, Sydney Calvano. For Engineering Transfer, Engineering Science, Sasha M. Alves. Also for Engineering Transfer, Engineering Science, David Lewis. And for Engineering Transfer, Engineering Science, Felipe Viveros Raposo. For Life Science, Biotechnology, and Forensic DNA, Robbie Pearson. For veterinary health care, Ashley Joan Youngblood. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for the Division of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering are for Engineering Technology, Architectural and Civil Technology, Jose Andre Eves Roulard. For Engineering Technology, Mechanical Technology, Andrew J. Mata. And for Life Science, Biotechnology, and Forensic DNA, Krista Randall.
Congratulations to all of the recipients. Dr. Suzanne Buglioni, Interim Vice President of Academic Affairs, will present the Academic Achievement Awards. Thank you, Katie. The recipients of the Academic Achievement Awards are students who have graduated with an associate's degree and have also earned a 4.0 grade average as of May 1st, 2019. It's pretty awesome. The first recipient is Lisa M. Elquist. The next is Jennifer Lynn Barros. Amy J. Batista. Brianna Michelle Berthiam. Karen Kavaka. <laughs> Sophia C. Shaviari Borodimas. <laughs> Chad J. Costa. Danielle De Costa, Marianne M. Duke, William Farher, Cynthia Fenn Coley. Sarah Faraz, Chancy Danielle Gadboys, Ariel Asia Gaspar, Jillian Holland. Henry Neal Jones. <laughs> Louis Chendi Joseph. <laughs> Christopher J. Lessa. Jennifer Lynn Linehan. Matthew Robert McGurk. Alice Christine Mejia. Tanya Marie Merkajanian, <laughs> Natasha Phelan, <laughs> Elizabeth Suzanne Rodericks, Romilda Marilia Rodericks. Mary E. Santos. K. 
Karen Dean Savoy. Alexandra Sakuro. Jennifer S. Swenson. Dung T. Vo. Sue Winokur. Congratulations to all on this extraordinary accomplishment. Yes. Very inspiring. Students graduating summa cum laude are invited to apply for the honor of giving the valedictorian address. From the finalists, two students are selected to represent their classmates based on their academic excellence and college and community achievements. They are designated as the valedictorian and salutatorian of the class, and they lead the student processional at commencement. I am pleased to announce this year's salutatorian is Amanda Marie DaCosta. The valedictorian who will address her classmates at the commencement exercises on June 1st, 2019 is Dawn M. Lopes. Ms. Jennifer Boulay, Acting Director of the Lash Division of Teaching and Learning, will now present the Civic Engagement Awards. Ms. Erin Smith will assist Ms. Boulay with the leader chords. Through volunteerism and civic participation, Students at Bristol Community College are able to not only give back to their communities, but also to enhance their educational experience. Students who have completed a minimum of 200 hours of community service, completed four or more service learning co courses, or have led a group of their peers in a community service project aimed at addressing a community service need, all earn the distinction of community service leaders. The recipients are Amy J. Batista. <laughs> Brian Casey. Angela Echeverria. Sarah Trinidad Hincapie. Congrats. Rochelle. Ann Ledger. <laughs> Joanna Morales. <laughs> Cody R. Oliveira. Ian Robb. <laughs> Luann Jane Spardella. <laughs> Ms. 
Olivia St. Pierre. Abriana V. Tirado. <laughs> Veronica Ventura Vasconcelos. The next award being given for volunteerism and civic participation is the President's Volunteer Service Award. Students can earn bronze, silver, or gold distinction as an individual or as part of a student club or organization. Students earning any of these honors are to be commended as they have completed anywhere from 100 hours to 1,000 hours of service in their community this year. The recipients of the Bronze Bristol Community College President's Volunteer Service Award are Chad J. Costa, <laughs> Catherine Mentzer, <laughs> Haley L. Noguera. Brianna Rosario. The recipients of the Silver Bristol Community College President's Volunteer Service Award are Sarah Trinidad Hincapie. Rochelle Ann Ledger. <laughs> Ian Robb. <laughs> the recipients of the Gold Bristol Community College Co um, President's Volunteer Service Award are Amy Batista. <laughs> Brian Casey <laughs> Angela Echeverria Jairo Lopez. Johanna Morales. Cody R. Oliveira. Luann Jane Spardella. <laughs> Olivia St. Pierre. <laughs> Abriana V. Tirado. Veronica Ventura Vasconcelos. <laughs> the recipients of the Bristol Community College President's Volunteer Service Award for Clubs are the STEM Club, Sasha M. Alves, Alex N. Amaya. Daniel T. Borden. Yeah. 
Nathaniel O. Hanshi. Kayla A. Harvey. Sarah Trinidad Hinkapi. Ian T. Leger. Timothy Lorenko. Jamie L. Powers. Abby Lynn Resendiz. James K. Roberts. The next club recipients are the Student Senate. Holly Brum. <laughs> Brian Casey. Chad J. Costa. Colin Dias. Sophia Keith. Michael McGarty. Hank Poitras. Nathaniel A. Raposo. Abriana V. Tirado. One of the most prestigious volunteer service awards is the Newman Civic Fellows Award. This national award honors inspiring college student leaders who have demonstrated an investment in finding solutions for challenging, challenges facing communities throughout the country. Through service, research, and advocacy, Newman Civic Fellows make the most of their college experiences to better understand themselves, the root causes of social issues, and effective mechanisms for creating lasting change. I am pleased to announce the winner of the Newman Civic Fellows Award is Sarah Trinidad Hincapie. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you for all of your hours of service. Emma Montague, Director of Student and Family Engagement, will now present the Bronze Shield Awards. The Bronze Shield Award is given to students who have provided continuous, outstanding service to a student club or organization of the college. The recipients are Dance Club, Chun Li Tith. Deaf Studies, ASL Club, Danielle Lane Gracia. <laughs> STEM Club, Timothy Lorenko. <laughs> 
Abby Lynn Resendez. <laughs> Veterans Club, Joseph John Massey. Congratulations to all of our Bronze Shield Award recipients. <laughs> Dr. Ed Cabellan will now present our final awards of the evening. The Silver Shield Award is given to students who have made significant contributions to Bristol Community College and are recognized for rendering outstanding service of con consistent high quality for the college. As you receive your award, please remain standing on the stage to be honored as a group. The recipients are Sasha M. Alves, Aaron Chisholm, Chad J. Costa, Amanda DeCosta, Famida Hussein, Caitlin L. Sylvia. C.J. Souza, <laughs> Styles Paul Vasquez, <laughs> congratulations to all of the Silver Shield Award recipients. Please give them another round of applause. The Scepter and Scroll Award is the most prestigious of all of tonight's honors. Membership in the Scepter, Scepter and Scroll Society is given to students who have provided consistent outstanding contributions of leadership and service to Bristol Community College. The recipients are installed in, the, in perpetuity in the Scepter and Soul, Scroll Society. As you receive your award, please remain on stage. This year's recipients are Brian Casey. <laughs> and Sarah Trinidad Henkepi. Congratulations again to this year's inductees. Finally, I, Sarah, I wouldn't go anywhere. I would just stay over here. I can get you a chair if you'd like to sit. The Mason Shield Award, known as the President's Award, is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The name of each recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. I'm pleased to announce this year's recipient is Sarah Trinidad Hincopee. Thank you, Dr. Cabellan. 
My sincere thanks to all of the presenters this evening. Congratulations to all of the award recipients. Please give yourself another round of applause. This concludes the awards presentations. Please join us in the Commonwealth College Center for a reception in your honor, prepared by the students in the Culinary Arts Program. Thank you all for coming and showing your support. Have a wonderful evening.